I decided to move out to my family's cabin property that we've owned since 1957 in Etna, California. And when I got here, uh, it was nothing but problems with the neighbors. Uh, they had blocked the road, so I couldn't move any of my belongings up to our cabin. Um, also, the cabin was burglarized and vandalized. It was ransacked and sabotaged. And they threw a dead animal in our well. And uh, then later the cabin was burned to the ground. And then a second fire was started on the property, a brush fire. Um, six months later, seemed to be targeting my RV trailer and my quad. So with all of the problems that I had, I had to start going to the courthouse and looking for documents and try to figure out what was going on with this property and all the surrounding properties while, why I was having all these problems with the neighbors. So here's some of the documents that I discovered. All of these documents, by the way, are court certified. You can see uh, their embossed stamp on them. This grant deed is Deppin's original deed. Um, he's in section 22. And you can see here on the second page that there is our easement. And it even mentions my mother's name, the Sioux Farnsworth property. But he didn't want to honor our easement because apparently he's spiteful and was in some type of argument with other parties and decided to kind of screw us over uh, as even though we weren't involved. I don't, I don't quite get it. So he concocted this correctory deed or corrective deed is the proper term. And in this deed, he removed our easement clause. So it's no longer there. And then he used this document to convince the sheriff's department that we didn't have an easement over his property, which we clearly do. And Deppin later filed five documents in the courthouse, including this one in 2008. And all of those documents also show our easement in the property description. So, because he can't remove an easement without an expensive trial, a court process, he decided to use a fraudulent corrective deed to remove the easement instead. And um, I've received correspondence between him and the sellers of the property, the people who sold the property to him, which was the Corey family or Corey sisters. And... He asked, or he asked them to sign a new document. So he concocted a lie saying that he couldn't close escrow on the property until he cleared up these defects, which was all a lie. Um, he had closed escrow four years prior to that, but he convinced these elderly sisters who were on their deathbed that uh, they needed to sign a new quick claim deed. And then either he realized or maybe his attorney told him that a corrective deed or a uh, quick claim deed couldn't be used because the Corey sisters had already conveyed interest in the property. They no longer had any interest in the property to convey with a quick claim deed. And so they came up with this solution instead using a corrective deed uh, which is only supposed to be used to correct misspellings and things of that nature, errors in the document. It's not intended to change the terms of the agreement. So that was a fraud to use that document the way he did.